um, people um, say, oh my gosh, you look the same as, you know, somebody else. <laughs> good one, Jacob. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good one. Yeah, sometimes people will say that I look like Matt Damon. <laughs> and I'm like, what? No. I hear that all the time. Like a million times. <laughs> And then uh, the next question, um, how did you know, um, how did you know that, you know, the, how, how do the deaf people know about that show to, you know, like Daphne and, you know, other actors or actresses, you know, like they, um, which is awesome. You're, you're awesome. Like, how did you f found out about that? You mean, how did, I, how did I know if they called me? Through my agent. I have an agent. And the agent, they keep in contact with my agent, and then my agent calls me. My agent let me know, and kind of makes a schedule, and that's pretty much how. And if you don't have an agent, you're going to have a hard time connecting with the opportunities out there. So I do, I also recommend that you have an agent. Yeah. Okay, you. Okay, you grew up working with uh, Switched at Birth, um, you know, so if a movie, did you get a movie uh, role, or uh, would you leave that to go to that opportunity? I was just told that I might get a contract as soon as next week, and if I get that contract with Switched at Birth, I can't leave the show. So, like, right now, I don't have a contract, so I'm free to leave any time I want, to take other opportunities. So, that's kind of how it works. You know, now for the show, you know, other than the show, what do you do? Oh, what do I do other than the show? Um, you know, like for fun. I work out. I like to work out. I like to take my deaf dog for a walk every morning. Yeah, he's got a lot of energy, so we got to get him out. Hopefully he's okay with that, and that's good enough. I also like to socialize with my friends. I like to hang out with my family. And I like video games, but don't tell anybody. I'm kind of a nerd. <laughs> I love video games. It's better than nothing, right? Now, I, lo I have a wireless a laptop. I used to play Alien Wire. So, I like, you know, if I've nothing else to do, I play a few games. What the heck? <laughs> Any more? Um, there's a few questions left, but um, if I can't see you, please put your hand all the way up so I could so I could call on you. How did you communicate before ASL came into life? You mean before ASL spoken language? At home, like with, parents. with my family. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you want to hear my voice? Yeah. 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 Now, the producer, did they realize did they realize that the show was just made such an impact or did the producer or the director did they think it would have a big in, in, impact or did they think, oh, we'll just wait, you know, just like a regular show? Did did they realize did they realize that it made such an impact? They really were not sure, you know, because it just depends totally on the viewers. If they catch people's interests, I mean I mean, it's easy to offend the world. I mean, people can tend to ignore things, you know? They ignore deaf people, they ignore other disabilities, they, they just think so much of themselves. So it's, it's really a tricky thing. And um, I guess, for example, like, put up, put up your hand if you believe in God. Do you believe in God? Okay, so some do, some don't. And I don't care, but maybe the reason why I thought maybe God wanted me to become deaf so that people would understand more about what it's like to be deaf and, and the fact that deaf people can do things. And 
you know, I'm not perfect. Um, I was a third child, and my parents didn't know that I was going to be deaf. And they never learned to sign or anything. They thought, oh, he's, he's going to be just like his sisters. He's going to be hearing. And I wasn't. So, I mean, it wasn't my fault. So, I mean, it really wasn't anything I could do. And they wanted me to read lips. So that was a struggle. It was very difficult for me being deaf in a world where people weren't deaf. So that's why I think in some ways, you know, deaf people, I mean, it's really, it's both deaf and hearing communities. They really need to come together to learn about each other. And if they can do that, hopefully it's better for everyone. And I think that'd be great if it could happen. Okay, back in the back. Okay, so I'm curious, I wanted to ask you a question. Before you involved with, got involved with the movies, did you um, critique people with their signing and you know things like that? Did you do that? Well, you know, for deaf, uh, hearing actors, I think it's pretty easy. It's, it's harder for deaf people, and sometimes they would say, okay, we want you to do this, we want you to do that. You're signing too fast. Give the camera more time. We need, you know, the captioning. Captioning is too slow, and I know I it just kept having to tell me to slow down my signing until I felt like I was signing in full motion. Uh, and it just, it was such a struggle to get the right balance, and it just really felt awkward. <laughs> that was rough. It's very tough to remember all the different things you have to remember, like to be emotional, to your lines, the, the pace, your movements, in one way, all at the same time. And if you forget one thing, it's totally screwed up. So you have to remember all of it. It's really quite a challenge. It's not easy. Have you ever been bonfire? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe, we'll see. Hey, that's a good question. <laughs> you know, I'm sorry, I forgot to sign. They, they said it was a fire tonight at the restaurant tonight. And he said maybe. Yeah, I said maybe. Now, for an, an hour, I watch the show, you know, and um, how much... How long does it take for one show to be made to make one uh, one one hour show? How long does it take to film that? Two weeks of filming. Yeah. <coughs> and my role, I have to show up for about like twelve hours. If I'm in it alive, it's like a full seven day. Well, let me think. If it's. Uh, five days, and I get three days off, then I go back for five days again. I have to wake up at like 5.30, and, and really the time varies. It's not a set schedule. So. Now for one show, um, it, does it take five days for one show? It does. Well, yeah, total about really two weeks total for one show. For one show? One episode? Right. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah, that's <coughs> the life of an actor. That's the job. What we do. Are these guys still in our like the sets like a set or is it a real like house or school? You're talking about the sets? Like the background and stuff, right? Is that what you mean? Are they real? Are they like schools and houses? Uh some. Some of it's real. You know, Daphne's living room, that is not real. It's just uh, like a wall, basically. And then they keep shooting different angles. But in some ways, it's almost magical. You come in and it's like, what? It's just this? I'm like, yeah, this is going to work with the camera angles. It's really, it's amazing that it, that it works out. The things that you guys don't see on TV, it looks that way. I don't, know, I don't always know how they do it. But I guess it just comes with experience. They know what they're doing. Has, um, has a hearing person ever said anything that has insulted you? Um, I never thought about that, so I don't think so. Okay, for example, like, can you drive? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> I thought you meant something that would offend 
hearing people. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Uh, plenty of times. Yeah. Honestly, I mean, really. I went to an ASL class. And it was high school students, and I was talking to them, and they did ask if I could drive, which I thought, oh, of course I can drive. I, I didn't understand why they asked me that. And really, deaf drivers are safer than hearing. <laughs> I don't know about that. That's a big question. No, not really that's, sure. Not really sure. That's true, because we don't have the noise. We don't need to get distracted. At least that's what I think. <laughs> okay, now for... The, the interpreters, did you know, notice many hearing uh, uh, kids are, were fascinated with you with the uh, switched at birth? You know, they want to learn ASL. Uh, because of that, they're interested in the deaf culture. Uh, for example, you know, saying, oh, deaf people can drive, you know, and then, uh, you know, well, that's thanks to the director, though. Yeah. Oh. You know, everybody involved in the show, do, do they thank you for that? Yeah. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. Um, what's your opinion on cochlear input? My opinion. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's uh, up to individuals. I mean, some deaf who want that, I think it's fine. I'm not going to stop them. This is America. People are free to do what they want to do. They should go for it. If they want to stay deaf, that's cool too. My parents were afraid. A doctor told my parents because they said I should get an, a cochlear implant and they said that I should wait till I grew up to see if I want one or not. So I think that's a good idea to let the kids grow up to see if they themselves want it. Um, who do you consider your best friend and how did you meet? Who's my best friend and how did I meet? Um, I don't know if anybody knows Zane. Fleming from Gallaudet. Does anybody know Zane? I've known Zane since kindergarten. We've been buddies. We're always together. Uh, not now. I haven't seen him for a long time. We've kind of grown apart, but <laughs> that's it. Young girls, um, what's your ideal date? <laughs> <laughs> And so I would just make sure that I didn't use my voice at all. So if they wanted to improve, I was willing to help them. And you notice that Katie's signs are better now. That's Daphne. Her signs are better. And Bay too. Um, so a lot of them are getting better. And a lot of that, I mean, it depends on the individual deaf person too. Sometimes they don't really want to take the time to help the hearing cast members. But I know them and I know what it's like for them. So I've really taken time to really try to help. Also, Sean Burry, you know, he's, he's a crazy signer sometimes, I, I don't know, but sometimes I'll, I'll slow it down and try to help him a little bit. You know, I don't want to talk negative about uh, Switched at Birth. Oh, hey, I've got an open mind. I can I'm take impressed. it. I'm impressed about the show. Um, but one negative thing, um, I noticed that the, there's many deaf people that sign and um, uh, sign and speak, like me. I'm signing to a hearing person, they understand me, and then another hearing person, you know, you speak to that person and um, they, you know, understand. But that's one negative thing, you know, that really doesn't, you know, go, go together. You know, like I'm a deaf person, and then uh, the other person that I'm talking to is hearing, and they, they get it, but in real life, they're not going to understand that. You know, like my coworker told me, you know, hey, you know, they told me that. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, and we're working on it. And that's, <laughs> that's why they have, you know, me and Emmett and or, um, Sean and Marley and all the other people. And, you know, we do make suggestions. And I know that they're glad to have us because they're learning from our lifestyle. So we're teaching them, too. So we do have an impact. 
you know, but did they think uh, the deaf person can understand they could read lips? No, it depends. I mean, maybe a hard of, hard of hearing person, but a fully deaf person, yeah, I would, I would also disagree. You know, some people, um, they do make that a, a misconception. Yeah, you're right, that's true. You know, I'm wondering, like, on the show, during the filming, um, do you have an, a, an interpreter available at the time? <laughs> Okay, I'll be contacting you, okay? With your job. Any other questions? Not in front? You know, I noticed that um, about that uh, TV show, you know, they are far away when the, you know, away from the signing. Why don't they, why, don't, why aren't they closer to the person that's signing? Are you talking about camera angles, that type of thing? Like, you know, they, they should come closer to you guys when they're, you're signing. Well, like I said, we do try to talk to them, and sometimes it's just a matter of the, the camera angles off, or, you know, sometimes we know that deaf people aren't going to, like I talked about the deaf, the desks. In real life, deaf people would never arrange themselves that way, but sometimes it's the constraints of TV. Yeah, but some of the camera angles, you know, we're missing other people when they're signing. You know, I have to keep watching the caption yeah, for that. I know. I'm trying my best to let them know stuff like that, so thanks. Well, well, just letting you know, we have five minutes left, okay? You know, how did you, um, did, did you, did it come from a book, or did the, the writer just make this up? Oh, good question. <laughs> it's probably better for the writer. It's a very good question. I never thought about it. I, I think maybe they made it up themselves. And they took a storyline, you know, the guys from LA. So I think I, I'm going to have to ask. I'm not 100% sure on that. So I mean, I'll see him in two weeks. So all right. I'm not really sure how to ask the question, but the captioning um, on on the show is that like exact captioning from the script? Like, is that the script? And when you get the script, do you just sign it the way you? Would sign well, usually like that. Yeah, it depends. Most of it is exact. But like if, if it's not working for me the way I sign, I just let them know. Ch changes can be made. They will do it. Sometimes, I mean, you, you have to try to follow follow their lines, and it's up to the writer. And if it's not right, they do change it for us if we need it to. Okay. Okay. Any last questions? You know, I was wondering, um, did you learn sign language? Um, did you have, a, after you learned sign language, did your personality change after that? I think it's better than before. Much better. No. No, not because of a woman. Just did, they, they, did they flock to you because of that? Well, honestly, my life changed when I did house. Before that, my life was pretty crummy. Um, because my mom's ex-boyfriend was an alcoholic and seemed like um, that was a problem and my mom cared about that person more than me and I said, you know, he needs to grow up, he needs to change himself, I'm your son, so you got to be there for me and it was frustrating for me. And then I went to the school for the deaf in my high school years, and when I was a junior, um, I, had, I had a new teacher, Stacy, and uh, there were a couple more years before I had to graduate, so I was like, okay, what am I going to do here? I have to figure out a way to let hearing people know. Like, I don't generally have any problem with deaf people, but how do I talk to hearing people? How do I really put myself out there? So then... Um, you know, you're not supposed to break certain rules. And I said, hey, you know? So just through reading English, I just realized English helped me realize that my life needed to change, and for the better. So, you know, I'm just more open-minded, and I'm learning a lot more these days. Okay, three minutes left. Just a comment. I just want to say that you are an inspiration to you. I can hear you in the deaf world as well. So you should be very proud of yourself, Ryan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That means a lot. Thank you. Now, Adam? 
you know, I have a comment. Before you said something um, that uh, you were skilled and accurate.